I've had a few questions about focus stacking and whether it's possible to do it with manual focus lenses. I don't mean the sort of landscape focus stacking where you've got three or four or five images and you can blend them easily in Photoshop, but really macro focus stacking where you might have lots of images with very tiny focus step widths. Um, I've never really tried it, to be honest. So I thought today I would come out and give it a go and see how difficult it is or how easy it is. And uh, yeah, thought you could come along and join me and see me either succeed or make a fool of myself. So we'll see how it goes. So I found some, what I now know, are called Scarlet Elf Cups. And I have shot some of these quite recently, but these two, three, are particularly perfect. So I thought they would make a nice shot. And they'd be a good test of my manual focus stacking. So I'm gonna set the camera up and see how that looks. Right, this is the setup, very simple. You can see we've got the subject there. We've got an LED light just to the right. And I've got my bag stood there, which is blocking the sunlight and the LED is really replacing the sunlight because the sun is going in and out, so I want consistency. So really the, the LED is just doing what the sun was doing. So let's have a look through the back of the camera. You can see we've got the subject here. We've got a sort of diagonal line here with the, the greenery, the moss, whatever this is, nice out of focus background. And because we're stacking this manually, what I'm going to do is focus on what I think is the closest part that I want in focus, which is around here. Then I'm going to bring the focus slightly closer still. So that is just out of focus. And all I'm going to do is shoot a succession of pictures, changing the focus slightly each time, moving it slightly further back. So I'm going to shoot the first one there. And I'm just going to keep doing that, just moving the focus very slightly. And you can see the focus point is moving slowly back across the frame. Now this point here is coming into focus. So I'm just going to keep doing that. Just moving it a tiny bit at a time. Probably moving the focus ring two millimetres each time maybe. Until the, the back here is in focus or until we've actually gone slightly past that. So yeah, I think we've gone past that. And um, I'll stitch those together as I normally do, do the focus stack as I normally do. And if it looks okay, here's the shot. So that shot's done. It was actually, it was a lot less fiddly than I expected. I, I'm not sure why, but I had kind of built up in my mind that it was going to be quite difficult and quite fiddly to do, but in actual fact, it was very straightforward and very easy. So, um, yeah, I think I, I wouldn't shy away from using a manual process in the future or using a manual lens if I had one. Um, so, yeah, it's assuming it, it uh, stacks okay and it looks all right when it's finished, then, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely do that again. It wasn't a particular faff as I thought it would be. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pack my stuff up and uh, see if I can find something else to shoot.
So I found a stick with this yellow gelatinous substance growing on it, or stuck to it. So I'm going to set the camera up and see how that looks. So here's the setup, pretty simple. I've got the stick on top of a log. I've got the LED light just to the left, giving a nice bit of side lighting. And the camera pointing straight at the, um, the yellow gelatinous stuff. So um, yeah, let's have a look through the back of the camera. Okay, so we are looking through the back of the camera. We've got a kind of nice triangle shape here. Um, not a lot else to say about the composition of this one. We focus right down here on this closest point. I'm right kind of at the very close focus limit of my lens. So we're going to shoot at f5.6 and I'm going to do the same as last time. Take a shot, focus back slightly, take a shot, focus back and so on until I get to the back of the subject. And uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to take the first shot now. Same procedure as last time, I'm just moving the focus ring tiny little amount probably half a millimeter so and I think we are well past the um, the subject so if that stack works here it is now Right, that shot's done. Again, it wasn't anywhere near the faff I expected it to be. It was a little bit tricky because the subject was so small and I was so close that my step widths, my manual step widths had to be very, very small. And I'm, well, you'll know by now whether it worked, but I'm not sure whether it worked. Uh, but yeah, again, nowhere near the faff that I was expecting it to be. So I'm going to uh, crack on and see if I can find another shot today. Right, the last subject today, ladies and gents, is a leaf or a little sprig of leaves. I don't know what you call it. It's, uh, it's better than it sounds. So I'll show you a broad shot of it now and then we'll just go straight in and set it up and see how it looks. So this is the setup, super simple. The leaf is just on this bit of tree stump here. Um, the gloves behind it are just giving a bit of shade on top because the natural light was making the rear of the picture look a bit bright. So yeah, that's purely to provide a bit of shade, but we're not fiddling about with any LED lights or anything. We're just gonna go straight for the natural light. So yeah, let's have a look at the back of the camera. So super simple shot, this one. Um, I do apologize for the traffic noise in the background, ladies and gents, but we're quite close to a road. But anyway, nice simple composition, just got this leaf this collection of leaves on this nice green background there's all these amazing tiny little hairs here we've got a sort of diagonal composition here i guess and we're going to try and focus stack it from these little tiny hairs at the front just down here and we're going to try and get everything in focus right to these little hairs at the back so, I'm shooting at f5.6, I'm going to focus just in front of the little hairs at the front, same procedure as before. And then I'm going to shoot the first shot, move the focus back slightly, shoot another one. Just keep doing that until I think I've got the whole thing covered. Again, I'm moving the focus ring, probably a millimetre. Just slightly back each time, you can see the point of focus moving backwards. See the, um, the little hairs becoming in focus 
as we go back. So the little hairs at the back on the right hand side are in focus. We'll just go a bit more just to make sure the ones on the left are in focus. Okay, I think we're about there. I'm just going to go a bit further. One for luck. Okay, I've gone well past the back of the leaf leaves. So we should be good for a good focus stack on that. And if it stacks okay, here it is now. So that shot's done. And again, I didn't find the manual focus stacking anywhere near the faff that I expected to. Um, in some ways I quite enjoyed it. I quite enjoyed the, the sort of hands-on, actually, you know, seeing the focus change from shot to shot. So hopefully it all comes out okay. Um, I don't know if I would manually focus stack normally. Um, I'd probably use autofocus most of the time and just occasionally do it manually, just, just for fun, really. Um, so yeah, not as difficult as I thought. Not as much of a faff as I thought, and uh, yeah, another technique to keep in the bag. So that's it, I'm going to call it a day, and I will see you folks next time. Cheers.